what is going on guys we are back at the gaming cave after a wicked revival 2019 event in walsall it was on the 15th and 16th of june my birthday was on the 14th it's a shame uh, it didn't fall on my birthday but yeah um i've got to take some birthday money with me and uh, yeah did not last long at all um i kind of i had no self-control at all um yeah and we made some wicked pickups that will be in this video so let's crack on with it guys all right big list of amazing people to mention so awesome to see all the guys as usual and i think i met a few people for the first time but anyway i've kind of written these down kind of in the order that i bumped into people so just little shout outs and mentions to people so the first person i bumped into i believe was scott glory hunter 82 uh, we were sharing room at the premier inn um, where literally loads of the guys were staying and sharing rooms and stuff. So yeah, saw so Scott had a little chat with him. I'm sure he was a. I'm sure he was already having a beer, and I didn't touch any beer um, at the actual event. I had a few beers um, on the night time, in the uh, Premier Inn when I was chilling with the guys and chatting and stuff, socialising. But uh, yeah, I didn't touch any at the event because obviously I had to drive myself and Scott and a couple of the other guys, uh, Eddie and Dylan Craven was with us as well um yeah we all went back to the hotel so yeah i was kind of you know i was driving at the time so uh and plus i would have had the cheeky one but um i had not like eaten anything i was just so busy like game hunting filming with the gopro on and um, so i had a massive empty stomach so if i'd have had a pint i would have been like all over <laughs> well you know i'm a i'm a lightweight as it is but yeah could not have had a pint on a massively empty stomach and uh, yeah i didn't even have any food at the event i was just too busy i was so overwhelmed game hunting saying hi to everyone just taking in the event because I've, I've not been to a revival event before so uh, yeah i was basically holding out for a nando's on the night time and me and scott went for a cheeky nando's on the night time so uh, yeah I was, I was waiting out till nando's so yeah um no refreshments for me at the event no beer no nothing i was just busy game hunting um, yeah, I bumped into uh, Dana, um, he was stalling, so awesome to see you man, it was a really wicked stall that you had, and uh, his mate Liam was with him, selling as well, so uh, yeah, really nice stall, and um, yeah, Rob had uh, some signs um, on the stall um, at the back, there's a few um, variants of Metal Slug signs, um, different, there's basically like screenshots of the game, like really landscape ones, and there was light up signs, and I actually got one for my girlfriend Beth, um, so yeah, she's like so happy with it and everything um i'll find a picture of it because it's actually not here because it's not at my house it's at beth's uh where she lives <laughs> currently so uh yeah i'll um i'll have to get a hold of the picture and um whack it somewhere in this video so you can see it <laughs> but yeah it's, it's so awesome the light up signs are so badass and she does have a metal slug arcade cabinet as well one of them bar top arcades as well so uh yeah i think it would go absolutely wicked with that uh, we both absolutely love metal slug and yeah so I, I that was the first thing i bought and yeah it was a gift for beth so so as i had my eye on that sign i was obviously i was looking for rob um because it was it was they were his signs that he was selling so uh, yeah i was looking around the event for rob to uh tell him because obviously i said to dane i said oh, i'll have that one when i made up my mind which design i wanted and then he was like yeah yeah go pay rob and whatever you know they're his so uh yeah eventually found bobbert with the stone island waltz all away you know pinting and and all that <laughs> now awesome to see you bobbert and the famous uh rape van they call it <laughs> i love that i bloody love that yeah at one point i think they had about 10 people in it or something there's, there's some stuff going on in there um yeah <laughs> yeah awesome to see bobbert again and um of course Stu was there his right hand man um to the uk so yeah always an absolute pleasure to see Stu. he is like a big bro literally is like a big bro to me in the in the retro gaming world you know he always calls me sis or bab and then he is literally like a bro to me so uh yeah i bumped into Stu a bit later on because i believe he was at the bar for most of it <laughs> he was at the bar for a bit um uh, yeah that's where i ended up meeting him a bit later on um but yeah as i was still walking about i saw addy sneaker freak absolutely awesome to see you man very brief chat we had and everything but um yeah so nice to see him i met him for the first time at arcade club earlier this year and uh, yeah he basically collects um if i can find some images i'll pop a, a screenshot of his uh, instagram his instagram is incredible like he collects basically what it says in his name addy sneaker adidas trainers um all different kinds from all over the world and everything 
like rare like variants of shoes limited numbers because obviously they, they do release some special editions where there's only limited quantities made so uh, yeah is instagram's incredible because uh i'm into adidas as a brand i'm, I'm really into it so uh, yeah i love seeing his finds as well so really wicked instagram you got there mate so keep that up and absolute pleasure to see you god this is thirsty work giving all these shout outs <laughs> next i think i bumped into Cine Steve, what a guy. Such a nice guy. Such a pleasure to see you, mate. Um, yeah, I hope you had a wicked time at the event. So, yeah, Steve, Steve's um, his knowledge on uh, all the Amiga stuff and everything. Because I've not actually long started to get into his channel after I met him properly at um, the Arcade Club event. That's where I met loads of these people, like, properly. And, uh, yeah, he's got like, such great knowledge in, you know, the older systems and stuff. So, yeah, it really is a wicked channel. So, um I will drop all these uh, channels links in the description down below, so do check them out if you feel like it. Um, yeah, some wicked people, really genuine, lovely people who I'm mentioning, and uh, yeah, the channels are wicked. So, yeah, I was looking at, um, I think you would have seen the video, um, I think that was on the footage as well. While I was looking for the PC Engine stuff, I was approached by Lee, Lee Frost. Um, I think it... I think his page on Facebook is called Frosty's Controllers, I think. He makes custom controllers. I've been meaning to get one off him um, for some time. I I'd like to see a uh, Resident Evil custom controller, man. So I might maybe grab an Xbox One Resi custom controller off you at some point. So, yeah, we had a good chat. We had a chat about uh, Resi 2, the remake, and uh, how I'm, you know adapting to it <laughs> yeah nothing will ever beat the original for me but yeah yeah we was talking about how far we'd got in the game if we'd done all the different scenarios whatever so uh yeah it's really interesting to talk to a fellow resi fan about the remake and how it compares and stuff and uh yeah we just had a really good chat about the event itself so yeah wicked to see you man who else i bump into there was um jason cyber snake lovely to see you jace um talking about pc engine stuff and then there was also roger um i met him for the first time great guy great knowledge on pc engine stuff and i really appreciated uh you know the games he was pointing out and just the general advice and stuff he was giving me so uh yeah it was wicked to meet him also alex alex crowley i can't remember his his channel name i'll i'll find it soon it will be in the description um because I've, I've seen your videos about, man, but I can't remember your channel name off the top of my head. So I do apologise. But, um, yeah, we ended up um, buying some games together and then just kind of whacking it in a bundle. And um, Alan kindly did a deal, uh, Japanese slash Scottish Alan, um, who does the, you know, the import store and stuff. He kindly does a really good deal on, um, yeah, a load of PC Engine games. So, um, yeah, really nice to uh, get stuck in all the PC Engine stuff with these guys. It really was. Um, who else was there? There was, uh, what do you call him? Craig's here again. <laughs> How can I forget you, man? Really good chat with Craig. He knows his PC Engine stuff as well. Um, yeah, he was recommending like a load of games. Stuff like Image Fight, I think you recommended to me. I'm sure, I'm sure it was you who recommended it to me. Um, yeah, I've had so many recommendations and there's so many I can't afford. <laughs> so, yeah, loads of them will be on my wish list for ages because I'm completely skin after this, guys. Bloody hell. It is mad. Uh, next, uh, Mike, I believe he's called, without further ado, Retro, um, I do watch his channel, so great to see you, man, uh, didn't get to have a proper chat with him, uh, he was sat down at a table with a load of guys, but he gave me a cheeky wave and said, alright, Mike, so, yeah, great to see you there, man, uh, who else we got, Eddie, I bumped into Eddie for the first time, I, I saw him, I saw the long hair, the glasses, I saw the pipe in his hand, I was like, it's Eddie, <laughs> what's going on, man, so, uh, yeah, I said what's going on, and um, yeah, I had a really good chat with Eddie about car boots. He recognised one of the car boots that I go to, not my local, but the other one, because Eddie's from Scunny, Scunthorpe, Sunny Scunny, and uh, which is not far from me. It's about twenty minutes away. So yeah, it's really cool that we kind of have that in common. Like you know, used to live like really nearby to here. I was visited uh, where I lived before in Grimsby. So yeah, really nice chat with Eddie. We talked loads about Saturn stuff, import Saturn. And how, um, you know, what, what games he's picking up because he's uh, started to collect more for the Saturn now and stuff like that. And you, Jammy Bast, he's even got a copy of Radiant Silver Gun. Absolutely mad. <laughs> Can't believe that. I'm massively jealous of you, man. <laughs> really am. I really want a Jap Saturn to play the import games and stuff. Um, obviously, I only just have a normal Saturn for now. Uh, but yeah, my Saturn collection's coming on pretty nicely anyway. Um, picks up uh, a big hitter as well which will be on a, an upcoming video soon but yeah anyway uh really nice to talk about 
one of my most beloved systems because Eddie really appreciates the Saturn as well. So really cool, really nice to chat to you about it, man. And uh, yeah, we talked to him back at the hotel anyway because um, I, I give him and Dylan a lift with me and Scott. Uh, all went back to the hotel. We was chilling in the room for a bit, just chatting. They were having the tequila and whatever. Um, <laughs> yeah, and uh, yeah. And I can't obviously forget Dylan Craven who was with him. Yeah, Dylan always comments on my videos, so great to talk to the Scouser. Um, <laughs> really nice to have a proper chat with you back at the hotel, man, with all the guys. Um, and yeah, there was also with us, there was uh, Burnt Out Culture, Mark. So great to see you, mate. I, I believe uh, we did meet before, but um, yeah, got to have like a chat with him amongst the guys in the hotel room for a little bit. So yeah, great to see you, man. Flipping it, there's so many of you cool bastards. It's crazy. <laughs> I have to keep having a drink. Um, also stalling was Chris Richardson. Uh, uh, what is it? Press Start Gaming. So great to see you, mate. Um, yeah, he had some. Oh, he had some tasty Neo Geo Pocket games. I just did not have the funds. I was eyeing up. Um, can't remember if I got it on the footage or if my GoPro was a bit out the way. I don't know if I actually captured it or not. I might not have done. But um, yeah, he had some nice um, Neo Geo Pocket color games and. Um, yeah, I was eyeing up Metal Slug second mission, um, but yeah, it is a bit of a, a high hitter for it, and um, yeah, I, I just didn't have the funds to to grab that, but may grab it off him at a later date. Um, so yeah, great to see Chris stalling as usual. Oh, I actually got to meet for the first time David Jamieson, the Scottish guy. Nice to finally meet you, mate. I bumped into him at the event and then saw him uh, back at the hotel in the night time when uh, there was a load of us chatting like in the hotel lobby near the bar, obviously. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I always enter his raffles on the uh, retro realm and everything. Always entering his raffles that I'd like not met him. So, you know, it's uh, just really nice to uh, meet him finally. <laughs> and thanks for the shot, mate. He uh, kindly gives a shot. I think it was, uh, I'm sure it was Sambuca. I can't remember what it was. It might have been. Uh, me, Scott. Scott Brand and uh, Pete Armour, we grabbed the shot off the table, off the uh, off the tray he was holding the shots on. So thanks for that, man. I owe you one. Um, yeah. So obviously, I spent a lot of the night um, sat with and talking to uh, Scott Brand, Sega Zombie. Absolute pleasure to see you, mate. It really, really was a great chat. And Pete Armour, what a guy. He had some cracking stories. Really, is such an entertaining guy, man. Um, so yeah. I didn't get to talk too much at the event because he was, you know, busy filming, going around doing his filming. And, you know, so was I as well with the GoPro on. So really cool to catch up on the night time, have a proper good chat with the guys. Um, but, yeah, like I say, really good um, chats with uh, Pete and Scott. Had some right funny stories and everything. Um, and then there was also James. I've, I didn't catch his name for ages. And I felt awful. Like, I talked to him loads and I was like, I just can't remember. <laughs> Met him before. Uh, Let's Talk Retro, his channel is. Great channel, really is. Some great videos, man. So, uh, yeah, really nice to talk to you, James. There's also Wayne Newey as well. And uh, so, yeah, he was sat chatting with us. So, great to see you again, man. And also, the man himself. You can't forget him. Tooty UK, Stuart freaking Charlesworth. Ah, oh, Tooty Tooty. Where do we start, mate? Yeah, there was one point in the night, right? We was all, we was all having our drinks. You know when the drink runs a bit low and all that? He came up, came up, yeah, with his Budweiser. You know you know when your mate comes up and they're getting the round in, or they think they are, and they go, what are you having? What are you having? What are you having? <laughs> yeah, he's basically, you know, what are you having, whatever, I'll have all. I said, I'll have another bud if that's all right, Tootie. Yep, yeah, that's fine, bab. Pete, what are you having? Scott, what are you having? <laughs> right? He walks off and whatever. About 15 minutes later, Stu's been a while, hasn't he? I must have got talking at the bar. About half an hour later, finally, here he comes. Who comes strutting along round the corner? And he just comes through with, with the one Budweiser. For himself, obviously. And, you know, he's strutting through. We're like, Stu, where's our drinks, mate? And then he's just like... <laughs> Yeah, so he left us hanging and didn't get us our drinks. <laughs> the thought was there, eh, Stu? Thanks anyway, mate. The thought was there. <laughs> no, he's a ledge's ass, Stu. I'll let him off this once. <laughs> Great to see Stu as always. We was chatting at the event because, um, yeah, he was chatting about basically this console pickup that I made, which I'll show you in a second. And, uh, yeah, he was uh, talking about the variant, kind of variant, similar-ish console that he's got. Um, of this particular 
particular console. And uh, yeah, so yeah, always good to see Stu as per usual. So yeah, that's literally got to see loads of the guys again and met a few for the first time. So really cool. I absolutely love these events. Um, the only thing that I'll say, I was a little bit disappointed about, okay? This is nothing to do with anyone, anything like that. All it is, um, I mean, I can't compare it to other years or whatever, game-wise, but I found on the Saturday, the Saturday was rammed. The Sunday, uh, that wasn't as busy, and I managed to get on a few games, but the Saturday, I was quite disappointed. Um, I could not get on any games whatsoever. As soon as I even saw someone walking away, it was taken again. I just could not get on anything, and I was a little bit frustrated, to be honest. Um, and, yeah, so I literally... This is why I'm literally freaking bankrupt right now. I literally um, treated it as like a buy-in event. I literally did. Um, Socialised a fair bit, but still, um, I got really carried away. Because, um, obviously, I've dipped into a new console and got games for it and everything, which I didn't already own. So, yeah, it was really exciting for me, to be fair. I got really, um, yeah, overwhelmed and really stuck in with this pickup. So, um, yeah. That's the only thing I was a little bit disappointed in. Just couldn't get on any games on the Saturday. Like I said, on the Sunday, I managed to get into a few. But yeah, that was the only thing that I felt that was kind of lacking a little bit. But, you know, it was a really popular event. Great to see the guys. It, You know, overall, it really was a wicked event. Great stalls and everything. And nice to see the usual traders, obviously. Lee, Sore Thumbs, and Japanese slash Scottish Allen uh, with his import stuff. And then, obviously, Chris Richardson. Yeah, so it's nice to see a few of the uh, usual vendors and obviously loads of the regular guys and then meeting new people as well. So like I said, I spent both days at the event. Um, I was with Beth on the Sunday. I went up to Newport to get her because it was only like less than two hours um, drive. Uh, she couldn't make it on the Saturday because she was working, but went up to get her on the Sunday morning. Then we spent all the day at the event, so Beth got to experience it as well. So I was with my Beth Bear for the Sunday, so that was really cool. We managed to play a few games. We played... Uh, Played a bit of, uh, like, Ninja Turtles and stuff like that together, so that was really fun. So, yeah, I was uh, literally the first day pretty much riding solo, filming GoPro in, all the filming done and everything, and then, you know, socialising whatever both days, and then, obviously, I had my Beth Bear with me on the Sunday. So, yeah, all in all, it really was a, a really wicked event. Let's jump into the pickups anyway, guys. So, guys, you can hear it all rattling, so I've got, like, a bag around it and everything. I'll unwrap it and show you in just a second. Uh, so, yeah, this is a completely new console um, that I have not dipped into before, but I've been wanting to for such a long time. And I must admit, my girlfriend Beth, like, really got me into it. Like, she's told me about all the amazing games, and she's got one herself. So, it's basically... Don't want to drag this out any longer... It is the PC Engine interface unit. So it is the one with the CD-ROM as well. So it plays both the Hue cards and CD-ROMs, which is awesome. So let me just take this out. I do have a more in-detail unboxing video, which I have filmed. And I will pop that footage on in just a minute. And uh, yeah, so I just want to show you it here. I wanted to do like a proper video with my GoPro and everything, which I'm about to show you because I, I wanted to obviously unbox it properly because here I'm not really, I needed the table to properly unbox everything. But yeah, it's got obviously just some wear on the box, some minor wear and whatever because um, it is an old system. And uh, yeah, it comes in like a briefcase style packaging as well. It's like a little briefcase, you undo it and then you can flip that up. So yeah, it's basically the PC engine there. And then that's where you pop your Hue cards, and then there's a CD-ROM 2 there. So, uh, yeah, I will show you the more in-detail unboxing, guys. So I will see you back in the gaming cave in just a second. What is going on, guys? And welcome to a more in-detail unboxing and showing you my new PC Engine interface unit. So this is the one which can play both CD-ROMs and the Hue cards. So I've got it in a nice bag. Let me just take out this bag. I can hear my voice better over all the rattling. <laughs> there we go. So as you can see, it's all lovely and boxed with the poly. It's in some uh, polystyrene there. Um, obviously, bits of wear to the edges of the box because it is quite an old system. And it comes in like a really sleek, like briefcase packaging. I'll show you guys. So you're ready for this. 
So this is how it looks. Um, the power supply was actually in there when I bought this. I, I bought this off um, Japanese Allen or Scottish Allen, whatever you want to call it. Um, obviously, the, the guy uh, who has the import store. And uh, yeah, this was at Revival 2019. So uh, yeah, I've, I've been playing it a little bit. So that's why obviously the, um, the power cable is out of there. So yeah, these are the wires in there. So let me just, just unbox these a sec. Set these out. So that's like your RF connection. And then in here, there is also, there's the AV one. So your little famous red, white and yellow colors. So uh, yeah, it's really handy to obviously be able to hook it up to more modern TVs via this way because that's how I've been playing it. So that is in there. And then these didn't originally come with a controller, but Alan kindly threw one in. Um, so that has been obviously in the bag in there. So, so it's a really lovely controller. It really is. Uh, D-pad's not too bad. It's not the firmest, but it's not too bad on this one anyway. Could always get a few more in the future. Um, only slight yellowing on the back. It's not too bad though. And then this is the system card, which you also kindly threw in as well to allow you to play the CD-ROMs. You enter this in the Hue card bit. I'll show you anyway, guys, once I've unboxed it. So, yeah, the poly's all really nice and everything. You know, everything's kind of there. So let's unbox this bad boy. This is the main event. <laughs> pop that to one side. So, just pop these bits in. There we go. And then it comes off. And you can take that bit off. So, yeah, it's a really nice... Uh, briefcase kind of design and then this is your eject button if you want to eject both of them so I'll show you the PC engine first that's where the AC adapter bit goes you've got your on off power bit that's where obviously the hue card slip in just there and I really like it because when you like pop these in like you can see the image of the game and stuff that you're playing which is really cool it's just nice to be able to see the image while you're playing them which is really cool so yeah, it's such a cute little console, the PC engine on its own, it really is. And then this is the CD-ROM 2. Um, it doesn't actually have like a button to eject or anything, so you just have to like carefully lift it up yourself, just like that, and then just carefully pop it back down. And then you usually just have to press the play button and then it just runs, it just loads up then. So again, this is another cute little device. <laughs> Got your DC in and your line out ports there. So yeah, and there's also um, an adjustable volume switch there, which is really cool. And uh, so yeah, we'll fit these back in and I'll show you how you do load it up. So to lock these in place, you have this little bit here and then power off, on. Switch it that way and it locks them in place. And then to be able to play it, just switch that on and then just loads up. So, you know, you simply put your Hue card in or if you're gonna play CD-ROM, pop that in there, your CD-ROM bit, and then put your CD-ROM in there, and then it loads up. I've also got, I'll show you the few games I got with it as well. I've also got the Super System card, and because I bought one of the Super CD games, which was Fantastic Night Dreams Cotton, um, Alan kindly threw this in, which was awesome. So that means obviously I can play it, because you need this system card to play the Super CD games. So I will show you that right now. So that's what it is. CD-ROM 2 Super System card. So to play Cotton, for example, I'll just show you guys how I play it. You just pop this in, pop this in the Hue card bit. And then just pop Cotton in the disc bit and then close it down carefully. And then you're all good to go, switch it on. And that's that. So yeah. Fairly uh, straightforward. This is the first like PC engine console I've, I've ever had uh, and everything. So um, yeah, it's, it's just really easy to use and everything. Straightforward to use, not too complicated. Obviously you just need a different system card for these sorts of games. Once you get used to knowing what you need to play certain games, it's all good. So yeah, that is the Super System card to allow me to play the Super CD games. So it's, it's really nice um, bonus that it comes in the case as well, because obviously usually you sometimes get them loose. Um, and I will show you Cotton. It's a bit of a heavy hit of this one, but I've, I couldn't pass on it. I had to get it. 
um, is, is awesome. I've played uh, a bit of it so far, so I'm looking forward to getting more stuck into that game. I'll remove the manual because then I can obviously show you the, um, you know, just little bits of artwork and screenshots from it, which is proper cool. So yeah, it's basically a shmup, a shoot em up. And uh, yeah, you, you basically play as a witch and she has all different powers and everything. Artwork is gorgeous, it really is. So I was really happy. I, I could not pass up on this. Like I had to grab it while Alan had it in stock. And uh, the disc is like really minty. It's really nice. That is a disc there. And also got Vigilante, which looks really cool. It's a side-scrolling beat-em-up. Uh, you don't have any artwork on the back because this is a, a Hue card game. So I'll just show you that. Really cool. It is quite difficult, actually. I've played this. And uh, once the enemies have hold of you, they proper drain your health. They don't have to drain your health, guys. Um, yeah, so it's... Uh, that's proper cool, I really enjoy that. Yeah, I believe you're trying to rescue a girl. I'm sure it said that on the opening credits. So yeah, in this game, some girl's been kidnapped and you have to basically, you know, fight all the bad guys and save her, basically. I've not got to that yet, but um, I've had to give it a little go so far and it is uh, pretty challenging. So like I say, once the enemies grab you, that's it. They'll probably drain your health. You've got to probably be careful on that one. So next one is Dragon Spirit. Another Hue card game. This is a really nice shoot em up. I've played all these games, I've had a little go of them. Really cool, really nice. Really nice looking game. So yeah, you can't go wrong. I, I just love my shoot em ups, I really do. So yeah, that's what I've been uh, building up for the collection. And then the sequel to Dragon Spirit, I got Dragon Saber. This came out a few years later. And again, really good shoot em up. Artwork's gorgeous on this one. I mean, it's quite nice on that one, but I really like the artwork on this one. It really is gorgeous. And then I'll show you the manual. And again, just really nice colours, nice looking shmup it is. And last but not least, guys, um, obviously, because um, this is two pin, the power supply, um, I've got a converter, a step down voltage converter to obviously convert the voltage so that it's playable, basically. So, yeah, I got this one off eBay. It was $8.99. Uh, it was recommended by uh, Roger, um, one of my mates at the uh, at Retro Revival. He knows his PC engine stuff. So, yeah, just to show you guys, that's a possible um, converter that you can get to be able to play it over here. The briefcase style, you can carry it round, right? <laughs> yes, of course, I'll show you guys. I'll pop this on there and we'll just close it up. Then you've got a little handle underneath and then, yeah, it's all secure. I've made sure it's all secure, don't worry. So, yeah, that's it. You can just carry it around like that. Coolest damn briefcase ever. <laughs> It's not bad for a little starter setup, so yeah, I'm starting to get into my PC Engine stuff. Hope you've enjoyed it, guys, Now we'll catch you in a bit. So I hope that footage just then gave you guys a clearer, like, picture, clearer view of how the console itself looks, and yeah, it's, it's very easy to work and everything. So like I say, I'm a bit of a PC Engine noob, but I'm just getting into it. I've played it a fair bit so far. So obviously, like I mentioned on the video, um, the power supply is it has the two pins so um yeah alan didn't have any um adapters uh step down converters in, in order to obviously plug it in over here um so roger i went on ebay i was looking i had, I had to get roger just to confirm that i had the right one and everything i said can you just find me the right step down converter because i don't want to bloody order the wrong one ordered it straight away while i was literally still at the event because i could not wait to play it it arrived a few days later and i got to have a go on it so uh yeah this is it that's uh, what Roger said to get. It was like eight ninety nine on eBay, so it's no biggie or anything. And obviously, it just means I can plug it in over here. So yeah, in case any of you guys were 
you know seeking a recommendation or whatever this is what i'm using this is what roger says he also uses and he knows his pc engine stuff so yeah that is the convert which i have and it's you know fairly cheap as well uh yeah and I, like i say i showed you on the video um that alan kindly threw in the super system card so this is so you can play this them super cd games and uh yeah like i say i, sh I showed them all um on the footage um it's just in there you pop that bit in the hue card bit and then put in your super cd game and the super cd game which i got which i needed that to play was fantastic night dreams cotton so i've heard so many good things about this game and beth said it was like amazing and stuff so had to grab it and like i say it's, it's a bit of a bit of a heavy heavy hitter a bit of a more high ender um i think the pc engine it can't be too bad to collect for like you know a lot of the games are fairly reasonable but there are a lot more expensive ones you know if you really want the decent ones and stuff so yeah um i'm a massive fan of shmups shoot 'em ups so uh yeah i will absolutely love loads of the titles on this i can't wait to properly start collecting for it once i'm a bit more <laughs> less broke because <laughs> this absolutely broke me making all this pick up really did but yeah it's awesome to have a boxed like i say it's awesome to have a boxed pc engine interface unit really is and um yeah mine can play um i forgot to mention this on the video actually so mine can play everything except the american hue cards um i think i'd need it either modern or may need like an adapter to be able to play those but it doesn't bother me too much because there's not like that many of them the library isn't massive um in the american hue cards and plus they're like stupidly expensive because obviously it didn't do like that well over there at the time um, so yeah, they're massively expensive. So you know, for now, I'm totally just sticking to the Jap ones. But um, Beth, Beth Bear, my other half, she um, has a PC engine and it's all modded and everything, so she can play any Hue cards. So she can play the American Hue cards as well. She can play anything. So she's got a really nice modded PC engine console. And uh, yeah, the other few games I got were Vigilante. So this is like a side-scrolling beat 'em up, like say, um, like I said in the video. Uh, yeah, some girl gets captured. I can't remember her name. It says on the title screens on the game. It says, oh, she's been captured. Whatever, you got to save her and all that. So, yeah, really enjoy it. I find it quite challenging, to be honest. And then I got a really nice shmup, which is Dragon Spirit. It's really nice. And then also its sequel, Dragon Saber. So I couldn't really get one without the other. I was eyeing this up first and then roger pointed out that this is the sequel and i was looking at both of them and i really didn't want to like just get one of them i just thought i'm gonna grab both of them um like i say i think the artwork's sick especially on this one and they're both i've played both of them they're both really nice looking games they really are so um yeah grabbed both of them and then another couple of pickups um which yeah you might not have seen on the footage so yeah basically this one was a little bit of a trade um i bought a bag of trades and stuff um and I'm giving a few things to Scott, Glory Hunter. And, um, yeah, a few bits he was after out of it. I said, just take whatever, mate, you know, whatever. And then Scott Brand was interested because uh, he had a few trades. And, uh, yeah, so I traded him. Um, it was a Sonic bag that I got a while ago from the car boot. Yeah, so I had that spare. And as you know, Scott Brand's Sega zombie is massive on his Sega. And, uh, yeah, he was interested in the bag. And then he had uh, this game, Dreamcast game, F355 Challenge. And it's all really nice complete. So I said, um, you know, do you want to uh, swap the bag for this game? And he said, yeah. So he's cool with that. So I'm happy as well. It's another complete in-box game for my Dreamcast collection. All really nice with the manual. And the other bits as well. There's like a couple of acclaim, like postcard and little catalogue there as well. So that's always a bonus. All really nice and complete. I damn hate, I hate these damn freaking Dreamcast cases. <laughs> And then there is the disc. So yeah, happy to have another one for the collection. So nice to do a little trade deal with you there, Scott. So yeah, I was eyeing up this game. Um, yeah, I'd not seen it before. It's a PSP game. And then I looked online. And uh, yeah, it seems pretty... I don't know how rare it is or anything, but it's really unusual. Um, like... I'd looked on the sold listings on eBay and they'd all been bought from abroad and there was literally 40 to 60 pounds, 40, 50, 60 pounds around then on the sold listings. Then this was 20 quid. So couldn't turn this down. I just had to grab it, guys. It is Metal Slug XX or Metal Slug XX on the PSP. 
So this looks sick. I can't remember when this was released. It was... Let me just have a quick look. It says 2010, I think, on here. Yeah, proper cool. Nearly a decade after 1999's Metal Slug X, the next codename title arrives newly encrypted, newly encrypted to the PSP. Metal Slug XX. Ten years from X. The everlasting Metal Slug is ready to roll again and roll double time. Double X. <laughs> Yeah, gotta love the artwork, as usual. So, yeah, really nice pickup for 20 quid. I don't know if the... Uh, I can't remember what the vendor was called, to be honest. I uh, can't remember. It was in the first room. So it's all really nice and complete. Really happy to have that, because it just seems a really unusual sort of title to get hold of. And, uh, like I said, I'm a massive fan of Metal Slug. I absolutely love playing it. And me and Beth love playing it together as well. So, guys, they are all my pickups from Revival 2019. Um, yeah, like I say, there's not absolutely loads of stuff, but obviously I had to buy my uh, interface system console, um, which, yeah, put a bit of a dent into a bank account, not gonna lie. <laughs> but yeah, um, managed to get four really nice games to start out with for it. Nice little trade deal with Scott on the Dreamcast game, and then, like I say, a nice Metal Slug game and a Metal Slug sign for my girlfriend, so really cool. Uh, really nice pickups, that these are, so mega happy to... Get the ball rolling on my PC Engine collection. Really happy. Yeah, I've always been curious about the whole, you know, import games and stuff. But I've always, like, in the past, I've, like, stayed clear of it. Because I just did not know what I was on about or anything like that. Didn't know much about PC Engine at all. And then um, Beth actually recommended watching High Score Girl. And it's on um, Netflix. Absolutely awesome show. It really is. It, it's so many gaming references. And, um, yeah... It was, it's an awesome anime, so I really would recommend that, guys. Please check that out if you love your gaming, especially your PC Engine, because the play on the PC Engine in that show. So, yeah, really is an incredible show, and, it, um, yeah, it was motivating me to want to get a PC Engine, and obviously best recommendation as well. So, yeah, it was an absolutely wicked event, guys. I would recommend it to anyone whenever the next one is. I'll certainly be attending it again. Hopefully get on some more games this time. That's the only thing that I felt... You know, I just kind of missed out on a little bit. It's just getting on them games sort of thing throughout the day, which I didn't get to do as much. But still, it was an amazing event and really good even for buying as well. Like, really good vendors there and stuff. It was an absolutely awesome weekend. So good to see all you guys again and meet some new faces as well. So, yeah, feel free to drop any comments in the section down below. How was your weekend if you attended and what pickups did you make and what did you like of this video? Are you happy for me? Are you happy that, I, uh, that I've dipped into the, uh, the old PC engine? It was a good decision, right? <laughs> so I hope you've enjoyed the previous GoPro footage, guys. The video I put before this and then enjoyed these pickups. So take care, guys, and I will see you in a bit.